You know, today I want to talk about how to achieve exit uh, for, for companies. Now with Paystack, um, story, amazing story, man. Congrats to that team. Um, there, there is, I mean, I, I used to talk to investors and exiting was not even uh, um, uh, part of the conversation. And it's really called liquidity event. When you turn your, your, your equity into liquidity cash for owners of the company. But why there's not more tech companies able to achieve that, or companies in general, especially on the startup level? What's the state? What, what's the what's the level of a stock uh, marketplace across Africa? You know, and what is the solution? Uh, because that area, that sector, I truly believe it's really behind and needs to really move forward and adopt the technology. Check out the video and let me know what you think, man. Henry Yakarundi, the innovator behind the innovative company. entrepreneur from Rwanda. Pour plaisir d'accueillir aujourd'hui Henri Nyakarundi. Pour en parler, l'équipage reçoit son concepteur, Monsieur Henri Nyakarundi. Man, 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 Paystack has exited 200 mil, but this vlog is not about Paystack. As proud as I am, and to see that at least every uh, I've been. I've been, uh, I've been back on the continent seven years now, and this is the first African tech exit that we can honestly talk about. Not the other one, but this one. And that makes sense, but by Stripe. Uh, but again, like I said, this, this, this vlog is not about Paystack, but this vlog is about exit strategy, where we at. Uh, and before I get there, man, I want to talk. So I've done a little bit of research, you know, um, across Africa, the different stock marketplace that exist um, in Africa. The largest one in market cap is actually South Africa. Uh, one point something trillion market cap dollars. Impressive, you know. But do you know that there's only... 54 countries in Africa, less a little bit less than half have a stock marketplace. I didn't know that. Uh, and of course, the market caps decreased dramatically after that. But exit, man, exit still the biggest gap that exists in Africa. And um, especially for, for startups, especially for smaller companies, startup especially in the tech space i mean we all know i've been saying this for the longest most of the tech companies across the world are not profitable they're solving a problem and they usually get bought by you know bigger companies uh they just want to use this technology in their value chain right it brings value to their bottom lines and they see value and and they add it up uh, and most of, of, of tech companies today now is all about verticals, you know, adding more and more verticals to their technology or their platform uh, to bring value to the end user or to their customers and better monetize uh, their platform. So this linear aspect of tech is done. Now it's building vertically. Uh, so you see a lot of acquisition. You see a lot of merger outside Africa. You don't see that here. But... When you talk about exit, it's actually called, I'll give you, I'll school you a little bit because I, I learned that recently. It's called liquidity event. It's basically when the owners or owner of the companies are able to uh, change the, the equity into liquidity cash. That's called a liquidity event and it can happen multiple ways, merger, acquisition, or IPO. So I've talked already about merger acquisition. I want to talk about IPO. Most stock market, if not all, don't have a pathway for IPOs um, for startups in tech space, but startups in general that can grow in all those things. And they all use the same... Um, a system. I don't know why. You know, when, when, when we, we, we still got brokers uh, on the ground, you know, and, and, and you buy stocks. I mean, it's old school where 
when you look at the West, they have all, at least in the States, they have, that, that is dying already. But this is what we're pushing. We're pushing where you still have to call or email or buy stocks. They haven't digitized the ecosystem uh, like Robinwood, uh, Robinhood. Uh, definitely, definitely, um, if you don't know who, what, who is Robinhood, uh, the company, I definitely uh, uh, push you to, to check them out. Because it's a very interesting tech, man. And they've been growing tremendously. Where you can buy stocks for free, but when you read about their, their business model, it's, a, it's, it's genius. And I always give props to companies that have genius business model, man. That's really what my, 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 my weakness is, is, is business model. More than anything, I spend a lot more time on business model development than anything else. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, so when you look at a uh, uh, stock market today in Africa, it's pretty much the same. You know, you have brokers on, on, on the ground, you have to buy through them, um, and then you have to sell through them. Uh, most of the time, it adds cost in the value chain is expensive. That's why most of the public cannot offer, I mean, cannot participate in this ecosystem. And digitization is definitely the key. I hope that's going to happen soon. Uh, where you can buy stocks uh, directly from your phone. I mean, they, they, I've seen on, on some mobile uh, using USSD, but it's not really well developed uh, in a sense, and there's still a, a high cost and taxes and all those things. But digitization is the future. Uh, brokerage, uh, in a sense, is dying. So why I did this video? Uh, so I don't know if most of you guys... Um, no uh, Star Engine, which is a crowd investing platform in the States. Very interesting platform also. Check them out. I'll put a link below for all those things. And um, they're coming up uh, with a with an investment uh, marketplace. Uh, so so companies can actually go public. So let me, let me explain a little bit about what I mean. What's a marketplace? or an exchange. Uh, most of the time, like the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, they exchange that allow a company, you have to fill up some requirements, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing, I mean, I'm summarizing. You can check more uh, 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 information on it. But um, a stock e exchange, it's an exchange place where uh, the exchange allow you to come in, you have to fulfill certain requirements. To make sure that you know uh, they do their due diligence and all those things so when investors come and buy stocks they know it's a legit and good company and you sell securities right so this exchange like the New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ allow you to come in and and because they allow you in that builds automatic trust with the investors that hey this company and this fees the process are very long the requirements are very complex. I mean, I'm not going to get into the detail. I don't even know all the detail. But why can we build a virtual uh, stock exchange or marketplace where you can sell your securities uh, virtually, right? I know it can be done. Um, do you not? Do you need the government in that aspect? I'm not sure. So Start Engine is doing that. You know, they're working on this uh, from the last newsletter they sent us. And that's very interesting. So a virtual stock exchange uh, or virtual investors trading marketplace, you can call it whatever, right? Where you, you, can, you can actually, all done is virtually, digitally. There's no offices, no brokers. You digitize the whole ecosystem. Man, that could be a game changer. Same thing, you go through the process uh, as, a, as a company and, and they specialize in startups or at least in companies that have raised A or, a or B round. Excuse me. Um, a little bit more traction, some at least decent revenue above three to five million dollars of revenue. Uh, and I'm talking about Africa, right? That would jump up the exit uh, portfolios across Africa, man. Now, the question is, and that's a question to you guys, do you need government involvement into this? 
No, because we're talking about 54 countries in Africa. Do, do 54 countries have to agree? No. You find one country, uh, that's my belief, you find one country that allow you to have this investment, uh, you know, marketplace uh, virtually. They, 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 they provide uh, some of the guarantees. Um, then, of course, you have to fulfill certain requirements. Um, at the same time, they allow any company from anywhere in Africa or around the world. Today, the stock exchange from South Africa mostly accept South African company. Stock exchange of Rwanda, only Rwanda. Kenya, mostly. Because I, I know, for example, Beka, Bank of Kigali is, is uh, on the stock exchange of, uh, in Kenya. But in general, it's very difficult, right? You have to have a, a huge market cap um, to be able to, it, the complexity, it's, it, it's just not, to streamline this, it's, it's, it's very difficult, right? So I, 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 I hope, man, I really hope, because what's happening today, I know East Africa, for example, today is trying to put together a stock exchange, but all those process takes forever. The agreement, everybody wants their own right. I, I would scratch all that, man. A virtual stock exchange or marketplace for company. That's the future, man. Now, it will require a lot of money to achieve that. And, uh, and find a country in Africa that want to be part of it uh, to guarantee, to bring some guarantee and confidence. Because investment is all about confidence, man. If they believe this stock exchange and the government brings also some guarantees, but also they, they have done some due diligence and there is, there is a, a oversight over that stock exchange, man, we can, we, can, we can triple, I mean, at least have hundreds and hundreds of company going through it instead of one company every five years. And this is what's happening now. You only see one company uh, every five years exiting in Africa and we that's why they they flood Twitter so let me know what you think man I, I would love to get feedback of some of those guys expertise in that field um, and if you're a, a, a business owner and uh, you think this is interesting and you want to get started at all please let me know I would love to participate man. I always like to participate in you know game changer innovative uh, um, uh, solution all right, guys, take care, and until next time, peace.